everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. I do a lot of videos on IT, cybersecurity, education, and career things. In today's video, I'm just going to be covering how to search for remote entry-level jobs on LinkedIn. I made another video about this before, pretty much the same thing, but it was for Indeed. And that video did pretty well. A lot of people liked it. Looks like some people had success as well. And then somebody else actually requested that I make this video, so I thought I would go ahead and do that. The primary objective in this video is to show some things you can do with LinkedIn to kind of increase your chances of being able to find a remote entry level job. Of course, you can use the strategies in this for, you know, non entry level jobs and like non remote jobs. But for the most part, this the focus is going to be on remote entry level jobs. There's a couple of videos I might recommend after you watch this one, but before you kind of start looking for jobs, since this is based on LinkedIn, I might recommend this video. It's it's really good and it will help you optimize your LinkedIn profile. I watched it and she brought up some stuff in there that I, I didn't even think about and I never would have thought about. So I think it might be, you know, it might be worth checking out her video, maybe watch it at 2x, implement the things that she talks about. And if you're feeling like maybe you're lacking experience a little bit or your, your resume or profile is empty or more empty than it should. I made a couple of videos that kind of remedy this as well, uh, especially this kind of how to create experience without a job kind of goes into some different ideas that you can use to kind of generate your own experience that can go on your resume. Maybe like use this video in conjunction with this one, these like five cybersecurity projects. They don't necessarily have to be related to cybersecurity. They can be, you know, applicable to IT as well, but I would watch this video. Maybe consider, you know, doing one or two of those projects, implementing them, putting the experience on your resume. Inside this video, I not only do I talk about the projects, but I, I give examples of things you can put on your resume, like after completing the projects and kind of learning about them. So consider that if you don't have any experience yet. And if you're interested in working in cybersecurity, or you want maybe like a more cyber centric job or a job that can lead into cyber, check out this video, how to get into cyber with zero experience. It provides a nice, a nice checklist of things that you can do to kind of increase your chances in landing the job that you want. So just check out these videos, maybe after this one, before before you start applying to kind of give yourself a nice mindset and some things that will help improve your chances. Actually, there's like one more video too. Um, this is the imposter syndrome video. If you don't know, imposter syndrome is the feeling of inadequacy when compared against your peers, like you're not good enough for something. This video is like particularly important to watch before you start job hunting because it talks about the feelings of imposter syndrome a lot of people get when they're reading the job description. Like they'll read the job description, they'll be like, oh, I don't match like, you know, half of this. I, I must not be allowed to apply to the job when that's like totally, totally not true. It's really important that you like watch and adopt this video. But if I were to summarize it, um, a lot of the times, like many times in my career, I get hired for a job when I don't meet like, you know, 70% of the requirements, but I get hired because I have all these other skills. And because I have these skills, the employer like has kind of has the understanding that I'll be able to like easily adapt and like learn the necessary skills that I need to perform the new job. So check out this video, it will help your brain a lot, especially if you're someone who kind of suffers from imposter syndrome. Okay, that's enough shilling videos. Let's go ahead and like hop into LinkedIn and I'll kind of show you some searches that I might run and strategies to kind of increase your chances of getting a job through LinkedIn. So getting right into the job search, we will click on jobs here and then let's just search like help desk shift, for example, and then we'll say remote. And then I will go to experience level, make sure like entry and associate is checked. Of course, you can check mid if you want, but I'm just going to focus on like entry jobs for this video. And then I will go to all filters and then scroll down on this to under 10 applicants, and then just say like show results. And then at least with this one, it will show, you know, obviously help desk jobs with the word shift that have like under 10 applicants. So maybe you potentially have like a higher chance to get an interview and and get hired. A strategy that I like to use is I, I like to try to when I'm trying to like move into a new position or trying to move up in my current position, I try to take on and do stuff that other people are, people are like not really willing to do. And with IT, like one of those things is like working night shift or like working kind of off hours, something weird like this, because a lot of people like either they they don't want to do it, or they're not willing to do it, or they just can't do it. So it kind of like decreases the competition for these things. So I might suggest, you know, consider like being open to it, like initially, just to kind of get that initial experience because even like after a month if you're like hating it you can start applying to new jobs and maybe something nice might come along where you can kind of make a lateral move or you can like even move up potentially so i'll just be open to it in the beginning under 10 applicants remote experience level entry help desk shift and we can kind of like look through these jobs a little bit day shift training is required I kind of assumed they would talk about like you know working the night or something huh. we can look at this one it's only eight applicants shift help desk agents 
through working for help desk agents for a second shift, third shift, weekend. Second shift, I believe, is like kind of into like late night. And then third shift, I believe, is like overnight. So if you're willing to, you know, work overnight, it kind of increases your chance for, for this job. And a lot of this, this job description is not too difficult, to be honest. You could probably generate a decent amount of this experience on your own. Like, for example, like this. I have a video that you could like completely learn how to do this. Uh, ITIL, you can you can get the ITIL cert in like a week or two weeks if you if you try hard. This one doesn't look too bad. You know, only eight applicants remote. It's not bad. Uh, associate support specialist. We can look at this one. This will be shift work from 12 p.m to 8 30 p.m uh, that's not even too bad it's kind of a bad shift but not really not too bad pretty pretty mild job description here this is relatively entry level and i don't see how many applicants it has it doesn't even say so actively recruiting maybe this this might mean there's a lot of turnover i don't know let me know if you know like what this means and there's no like number of applicants here but we'll kind of i'll kind of look through one more of these and i'll try like a new search term here's a service desk analyst oh, with security clearance i'll skip this one in case you like don't have that so i'll try i'll search for for like, I don't know, analyst shift, something like this. And I want to search remote, but it's like missing the, the tab location. Oh, remote. So, so I searched for analyst shift, it's remote under 10 applicants, and there's a pretty decent amount. This is way more than I would have expected, to be honest. So service desk analyst two, remote third shift. Third shift is overnight. No one wants to do this, right? Um, only four applicants. It doesn't look bad. This is like super mild. I can like tell already. This is a super mild. I would say like relatively like high chance to get an interview for something like this. But there's so many jobs here. SOC analyst tier three, remote. Um, this this seems more of like a mid-level one. Uh, maybe it's a associate. It's not too bad. A sim and sort training. I have like a video that kind of dives into the initial like setup and using of a sim. You should check out that video that will like uh, give you experience to go on your resume that will like kind of match a lot of job descriptions like this. Not too bad. This is not too bad either. It looks like a nice, um, I don't know why it says tier three. This looks like a relatively entry level position. Only eight applicants. Pretty cool. Help desk analyst weekend shift remote eight applicants. This one has zero applicants. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is IT or not. Project manage. Yikes. Cyber de cyber detection engineer. Zero applicants. Let's see. Why is that? Work shift first. Huh. I don't know. Service desk analyst. Sock specialist. Remote. Zero applicants. You know, it looks it looks pretty decent. There's a lot of there's a lot of jobs. Um, a lot of shift work. I feel like you'll have like a pretty decent chance to like get an interview at least and potentially like get hired if you're like profile squared away. You have some experience. If you don't have any, like use my videos to generate experience for yourself and just kind of go through these and just apply to jobs. But yeah, I hope that was useful. It kind of got me excited and made me want to like apply to some of these jobs just to like give it a try. But um, I'm kind of doing YouTube right now. So I don't want to, you know, I don't really want to, but yeah, I hope it was useful. Let me know if you have success with this or if you have any additional tips that any other, you feel like any other viewers might be able to benefit from this whole like channel is to like help other people so if you if you post something that's like really good i'll probably pin it for other people to see but yeah thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it as always if you feel like supporting me in the channel i i also have a patreon so check that out but otherwise thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video bye bye